Hi, I'm Adam Culp, and you're at BeachCast. Today, we're going to talk about how to parse Markdown in PHP to HTML. So stick around, and we'll get right on that. Welcome back. If you want to grow as a developer and learn how to make better web applications, start now by subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to check the bell so you won't miss anything. If you found this video helpful, or if you have any questions, let us know by leaving a comment down in the bottom. And for live coding, check out BeachCasts on Twitch. I stream a few times a week, and it's totally different content than I put out here on YouTube. Thank you. Okay, so let's get started. Lately, I've been uh, working a lot with the Sunshine PHP website. And one of the things the Sunshine PHP website did not do was it did not parse Markdown. So speakers, when they were submitting their talks and submitting their bios uh, for the Sunshine PHP conference, sometimes they would include markup in their descriptions and in their bios. However, in the past, I've just cleaned those up. I've gone in and manually edited them and, and changed them as needed. This year, I decided I wanted to do it a little bit different. I wanted to, I wanted this to be automated. I didn't want to have to edit everything. So uh, as you may recall from a previous episode or on a previous stream, rather, on Twitch, um, I automated the process of the Sunshine PHP website, pulling that information from the CFP software. And now the next step is to add a markdown parser to the Sunshine PHP conference to parse the markdown that was contained inside the bios and things. So I expected this to be a lot harder than it was uh, because I came across a nice package from the League of Extraordinary Packages in PHP called CommonMark. So taking a look at that, CommonMark is a way to um, to add markdown and, it's, and it says markdown done right. Uh, so to include it, you just uh, use Composer and you require the package. And after you've required it, then it's just a matter of instantiating the common mark converter. And then in your view, you're going to echo out the uh, content to HTML, including, of course, the content. And it parses through it and turns the, uh, the, com turns the uh, markdown into HTML. So let's take a look at how I implemented this. It was really quite simple. So to start with, in the Sunshine PHP website, I wanted to first off include it in my composer.json. Um, so in the composer.json, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the, um, the league common mark and like so. So I'm going to include version 1.1.0. Um, now that's the current version as of this recording. Um, I'll, I'll probably make this a little bit more automated and add uh, add that version as a more of a uh, more of a more of an automated update, if you will. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and include that in. Now, once I've got that, then I need to uh, use Composer, and using Composer. Go ahead and update my dependencies to include the the common mark package so i'm going to go ahead and kick that off okay so it's completed the install and it just brought down the the uh the league slash common mark no other dependencies were needed from what i already had in my stack so it didn't bring anything else it just brought in common mark now uh, i'm also going to go ahead and kick up uh the php built-in web server here so that's what i'm going to use to to demo this uh, so i'm kicking off php hyphen capital s if we're going to put it at localhost colon 8080 so it's port 8080 and then we're going to tell it to serve up the public directory of this zen framework 2 application okay so the so that's running now let's take a look at what we have here so if i go to localhost 8080 we, of course, get the Sunshine PHP website. If I go to the speakers, we can scroll down and and we'll see, looking for something that has Markdown. There we go. So so here's some Markdown in Dana Luther's profile. She's got Markdown links for a couple different things through here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, she's got, a, she's got a few links here. And then if I scroll down, 
We see Derek Rathens has also got his X debug as a link. He's got his profile uh, as as a link to his uh, to his blog. So so again, we want those things to automatically be parsed from Markdown to HTML. So how we're going to do that is just like the instructions say. Uh, now that we've brought it in with Composer, it's available. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Now, normally I don't edit vendor files that are being included by Composer, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to because it's just right here. Um, and what I want to do is take the uh, SSP Talks, which is a Zen Framework 2 module that gets pulled into the Sunshine PHP website. I'm going to edit this directly only for this example. You should not do this. Uh, and of course, never do it in production. So in this, we want to go to our controller. Now, in this case, I have the talks controller and I'm going to go to the speakers action, right? Because we want the speakers to be the page that is getting parsed. So in here, we're going to instantiate common mark, the common mark converter rather. And so, so we're, we're uh, adding a temporary variable common mark and here we're instantiating common mark converter. Um, now we, that also adds in this import statement up here. So we have use league slash common mark slash common mark converter, and that's being imported in as well. Uh, PHP storm was nice enough to add that for us after I added in the instantiation here. And now that we've got the object um, in, uh, in the variable, we need to now pass that variable in, a Zen, uh, in the, uh, the Zen Framework 2 application. We need to pass that to the view and we'll do that with the view model. So let's go ahead and add that in here. I'm going to add, uh, I want in the view, I want there to be a variable also called common mark. So I'm going to call it common mark. That's the name of the variable. And we're going to populate that with the local variable here in a constructor of common mark. So we're passing that into the view model. So now in the view model, common mark will be available. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the view. If I go to, if I go to the speaker's view and scroll down to the speaker's area, we notice that here's the bio, right? Here's the bio. Now, what I'm doing is I'm echoing out PHP's function, uh, new line to break, new line to break, and then I'm putting the bio there because some bios do have uh, paragraphs. We notice that if we look at if we look down here, for instance, uh, there, there's one where there's a paragraph. Derek has a, a paragraph in his, and that is only done by him doing carriage returns in the text field where the bio was able to be put in, right? So uh, for both Derek's. So that's the reason that I use new line to break. It, it picks up on the new lines in the text and adds breaks in the HTML. Now we want to keep that, but we do want the bio also to be parsed for, uh, for, for markdown. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're expecting, we want the new line to break to still be there, but we're going to call the, we're going to call the variable common mark and it's an object. So in that object, we're going to look for the function called convert to HTML. And in convert to HTML, that's where we add our session bio that's being pulled from the database. And we're passing that into the convert to HTML. So it's going to convert any markdown to HTML. And then after that's done, then the new line to break is still going to kick in and give us the paragraphs the way we want them to. Okay, so now that we've got that in there, um, let's go ahead and, and refresh our page over here. And as we refresh, we see that it has parsed these. So now we have Derek Rathens. He has a link to his blog. He also has an xdebug link. So it is parsing the markdown at this point. If we go up to Dana Luther, for instance, she's now got links in her bio as well. So it's just that easy to parse markdown with uh, the league common mark. And there are other things in the league common mark as well. If we look in the documentation of it, um, and excuse me, if we go to the documentation, we see that there are other functionalities that you can do here. There's extensions, there's different environment, uh, you know, event dispatching and so forth. 
um, and different, more advanced things that you can do. Now, by default, the common mark um, package is very forgiving or very accommodating because it follows the common mark standard. And the common mark standard doesn't really have a lot of things for checking, uh, for instance, for validation. If somebody is adding in a link and it's a link to JavaScript or if it's including in some JavaScript, that's not really being validated by common mark unless you pass in additional uh, config uh, values to do that. And they are there. However, by default, common mark is very accommodating to, to fall in line with the common mark standard. Um, so that being said, just be careful as you're using it and do a little bit of extra reading on some of the additional functionalities that you might want to implement for security and for the safety of your viewers. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and like the video and tell your friends about, uh, about Beachcast. And remember to check us out for live streaming and live coding over on Twitch a few times a week. Thank you.